Avoid poisonous things. Well, again, if we're looking at the primal blueprint and what our ancestors sort of did for millions of years to get us to where we are here, they avoided poisonous things. So they avoided toxic plants, they avoided uh, you know, rotten flesh and, and certain things that they knew were going to make them sick or, or kill them. Uh, today, we don't have quite the, um, the obvious solution in front of us. There are a lot of toxic things in our environment that uh, taste great, uh, don't have any sort of indication that they're going to make us ill, but are still bad for us. So when I talk about avoid poisonous things today, I'm talking about avoiding processed uh, sugars, for instance, added sugars, high fructose corn syrup, um, agave even. I'm talking about uh, some of the drinks that we consume that have 40 or 50 grams of sugar per serving. I'm talking about avoiding processed grains uh, and even some whole grains because of the gluten content in them. Uh, I'm talking about uh, perhaps one of the most insidious parts of our diet, the industrial seed oil, soybean oil, corn oil, canola oil. These are found in a lot of processed foods and these oils are um, highly processed, they lend themselves to oxidation, uh, they don't get combusted as fuel in the body, but they do get incorporated into cell membranes in an inappropriate way in a lot of people, and so they're, they're damaging. In fact, I think per perhaps the industrial seed oils might be the most damaging part of our diet today, even more so than, say, excess sugars. When I talk about some natural foods having potentially toxic components, uh, you know, agave is an example of uh, of a natural source of sugar, but it's got more uh, fructose than high fructose corn syrup, for instance. So I wouldn't consider it a healthy food at all. Um, but there are other types of foods, natural foods, like a lot of, for, for the longest time, for decades, we thought that whole grains were healthy and heart healthy. Uh, a lot of people have issues with grains. A lot of people have issues with the gluten in grains or, the, or the, these tightly folded proteins, not just in wheat, but in corn and rye and, and millet and, and all sorts of grains. Uh, so that could be problematic, that could be toxic to some people. Uh, there are concerns that people have with lectins in some foods. And not all people have the same susceptibility, but it would be wise to understand where you are on that scale of susceptibility. Some, some of the legumes have, have lectins in them that are problematic for some people. Um, nightshades, uh, you know, uh, tomatoes. Uh, the seeds of tomatoes, the seeds and skins of tomatoes are problematic for some people. So it's it's not that these things are necessarily going to kill you, but, it, but over a course of years of consuming them, it'd be, it would be wise to understand how those foods uh, interact with your own digestive tract and your, your history of eating and your metabolism.